welcome to the day after the night before back out again on the rocks fishing again with sean sean's just up beside me we've just put our first casts out and um we're hoping we're gonna get in some decent fish today we're getting early indications of a bite so um see how we get on but um yeah last night was all right we had a couple of a couple of fish out it was pretty tough tough going to be honest with you this is a very kind of challenging place to fish because it's not got a lot of angling pressure there's not a lot of people um that really kind of venture out and try you know the kind of areas that we're at pretty grueling walk to get out to where where we are today especially trekking gear. up and down hills and through sheep's tracks and um but we found a nice little spot for for the session so we're going to give it a go i'm actually getting a bite there Might be the dreaded doggy. Well, there we are. The first fish is a dogfish. The welcome pest. Blank's off now, at least. Pressure's off? Maybe. There we go. That's a <laughs> turn, turn up for the books on the on the west coast. That's why we do these recce missions, right? We um, we come to the west coast to try and catch something other than cod. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Blanks off with a lovely conditioned codlet. Welcome surprise and a very welcome get off the blank fish. So uh, get him unhooked, returned, and we'll. Uh, Try and get something a little bit more exciting for us.
Going nice. And that's what we came for. What a lovely fish. Probably somewhere through the middle of the scenes. Oh. Oh, my word. Yeah, she's a cracker. So, we're gonna get her popped in a rock pool. We'll get the sling out, we'll get her weighed. Get a quick photo. Pop and then um, we'll get her back. Well, I'm just gonna get this fish released now. A nice fish. Just weighed it, it was 14 pounds dead, so happy with that. It's not a personal best, but still very welcome. What a start. So that was good. First cast curse sometimes, you get that dogfish, you're like, God, you know, fishing a new mark, we're like, Jesus Christ, is this just gonna be dog central? Um, and then Sean goes and pulls out a nice codlin, which for the West Coast is a super rare fish, and although it's Sean's forte back home, he you know, does a lot of cod fishing on his local shorelines, um, they're seldom caught around that size on the west coast so so that and then that double figure spur was quite nice so that's the kind of baits we're using today half a fresh mac well half a tail cone of fresh mackerel with a slither of fresh pollock on the back of it short pulley rigs uh, i'm using cedra stainless stainless swivels and um, i'm using a mixture of catfish hooks and um octopus hooks so they are um, quite versatile hooks. We're both fishing T700s today and I've also got a T900 out. Quite tidal here so I think having the glass tips is certainly helping. So we'll get another one sent out. See what's waiting out there. Because if this is the daytime, I can't wait to see what the nighttime tide fish is like. species already. We need to tally up our species. We've had Ballinrass, we've had Pollock, we've had Coalfish, Macro, um, Common Skate, Thornback Ray, Spur Dog, Codlin. <laughs> Could be triplets. I mean what? We really scratch the surface. Yeah. Well, well, I think that's the best thing about these trips is like coming to the locations that are selling fish, you just don't know what's out there. That's it, you just don't know what you're going to get. That's a good fish, that. Yeah, Thank you. 
Yeah, I minded that too. Just wait till oh, you no, get it. Yeah, wait till you get to the edge. Sean's got a nice fish on here. Looks to be a double. I've got a leader as well. Perfect. That's a cracker, man. Oh, get over there. Sean, man, you're going to need to come down. Down. Down, fine. Can we come down? Just wait there. See if I can get it from here. Careful. And that's a, a prime example of the the kind of stamp of spurs that we're getting here over today we're on the west coast. It's probably touching a double and uh, wouldn't be far away from it. If uh, if it is, we'll get her weighed quickly and then um, in the sling and we'll get her turned as quickly as we possibly can. Lovely fish. Well done that man, absolutely buzzing. That's a fish apiece, it's time for celebratory beers now I think. <laughs> well, um, we've been fishing on, had some smaller fish. Um, and I've just had another nice double figure. <sighs> another fish again, 14 pound. So delighted with that. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this fish back. Not really got time to spend because Sean's just about to set the hook on a fish. Um, so we'll get this one back. But this one weighed 14 pound. So that's my second 14 pound of the session. Hopefully we're gonna see a few more. Well, this is absolute pandemonium guys. Can hardly keep, um, keep a rod in the water. I'm trying to fish two rods, but I think I'm gonna have to go into one. Another fish on, I've just managed to get the last bait out. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get this fish in now. Another doggy, it can't be a spur every time. Well, just managed to get a bait ready. Rod's going. Here he be.
different this, like. Yeah. Might be a ling of ding. That'd be nice. That one didn't get in the water for long. Another lively spur dog. A little one there. It's like tangled around this line and just Could you ha give a hand Sean? Yeah. Alright. What line's it? Ah, oh, your both line. line. Eh? Well, another fish there. This one again ran me into a reef, so I had to get it out. A little bit of persuasion, but I got it there in the end. Another lovely spur. Again, sort of double figures. This one's maybe 12, somewhere about that range. So, I'll get it quickly unhooked and get it popped back. It makes sense, mate. That last one was appropriate as well. Bigger hook, bigger bit. How mental was the bite? Really steady. More small fish. Um, yeah, the stamp's getting a little bit smaller now, so we're gonna kind of gauge how the next few casts go, see how it is. And um, unfortunately, Sean just got bitten off by a, a decent fish. Um, 
on kind of bit him off above his wire so that was a bit unfortunate so anyway gonna get this fish back and keep going on see you in a bit Well, another fish, again a small one, but welcome. Seems to be another another run of kind of smaller fish coming in. So we'll go and get this one popped back. Fingers crossed the next one, next one makes a double. Yeah, hopefully that's the end of the run of small fish. And we've got something slightly better coming in now. It's a double figure fish, probably about 12 pound or so. Just gonna get this one popped back now. Um, yeah, and hopefully get some bigger ones. Yeah, so time to do a little bit of tidying up. Fish on for a few hours. The water's gonna push um, push back and we're gonna fish and then possibly have a little break, a little siesta, and come back out and hit the evening tide. If, um, if nothing else happens now, then we will see you in the evening. Hope you've enjoyed that. It's been a bit mental. Couldn't get everything we wanted on camera, but uh, plenty of fish. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll be back.